Good morning. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Hey, if you're, you've got a hankering for some adventure, the great outdoors, a little exercise, and you're free, go this Sunday and check out the 31st annual Mount Taylor quadra Quadrathlon that involves running, biking, skiing, and snowshoeing with an elevation gain of almost a mile. Now, it's too late for you to enter it this year, so maybe a good idea to start training at this point, but fun to watch. And we do have a couple of people who are going to tell us more about this event, Chad Gaines and also Kendra Brown. Good morning. Morning. Thanks Good morning. for coming in this morning. Kendra, so you've been training for this event. You're going to do this event this weekend. Tell us about it. I'm absolutely excited. Yes, um, I Obviously bet. a little bit nervous. This is my first time soloing the event. I've competed on a team several times in the past as a snowshoer, mm -hmm. but this year I decided to do the entire thing. Try the whole thing. So, Chad, how far are you going with each of these different uh, sports? With each event, the bike goes 13 miles. The run goes five, the cross country ski goes two, and then the snowshoe goes one. That gets you to the top of the mountain. Okay. You turn around and you come back down. And so how do you come back down? You come back down the same way. So you'll mile. snowshoe down a mile, you'll cross country ski three miles, you'll run five, and then you'll bike 13 again. Wow, how long does this take? The fastest competitors finish in, I believe, just under three and a half hours. Wow, that is amazing. But I'll be at least doubling that. <laughs> <laughs> doubling that. Hey, if you can just get this done, I think that's an accomplishment. It's got to be a lot of fun. Has it been tough to train for? How do you train for this? It's been fun to train for it. I'm, for, I'm lucky because I'm from Grant, so I can spend a lot of time on the mountain and mm -hmm. get to know the course and the snow conditions and things like that. So I'd say it's been fun to train for for the most part and we've had really warm weather this winter mm -hmm. so it hasn't been hard to get outside. Yeah that's fantastic. Now Chad how would you recommend okay say someone wants, sees this event they're really excited about it, and they're like I want to try to do this next year. How would you recommend someone say in Albuquerque train for this? How do you get to put all the elements together? I think one way to put all the elements together is it's really a runner's race so if you're an endurance runner it's real good for the endurance athlete Mm -hmm. And then you can come in and practice with your bike, of course. Mm -hmm. Grand, Albuquerque has a great place to bike. And then also um, cross-country ski, you can, you can rollerblade and do that type of thing to get the concept down. Okay. And then snowshoeing. Snowshoeing is just kind of like walking with big boots on right. is all that is. Exactly. So it's pretty simple. Okay, so for someone around here, then you would say that as long as they could probably run that distance, run and maybe slash bike that distance, they'd probably be, have the stamina to, to get through it? Definitely. If you can run that distance and also biking is key, but it's really running. Running. Yes. Okay, because going, I mean, that's a pretty big vertical, a mile up. That's a yes. big change. Okay, so too late again to register this year, but worth it for spectators. Worth it for spectators. Come out, volunteer. We love to have volunteers. The race is really known for its volunteers. Okay, fantastic. And you brought a few items here? We brought a few items. This year we'll be selling our, our bike jersey. This is the first ever bike jersey that okay. we'll be selling. Those are all the details, of course, that we just popped up on the screen for you. We'll have this all on our website, too, so uh, don't panic if you didn't get the info there. So this is one of the bike jerseys that you're, you also have. Um, hoodies, or not hoodies, we have uh, beanies. beanies. Beanies for sale hats. this year, hats. Yeah. Very cool. This year's contestant shirt. Oh, I love that. So when do people need to register by if they want to do this? And when would you say they would need to start training by if they want to do this next year? I would say you need to start training in August of next year to okay. be ready. You can register. We'll open registration in June. Okay. And we'll close it a week before the race. All right. That sounds fantastic. Thank you both so much for Thank coming you. in this morning. Kendra, best of luck to you this weekend. Thank you. Okay. We'll stick around. We have more.